And welcome back, everybody, to Pokemon TCG. I am Fafa the Lego, so... Anyway, we are going over to the Lightning Club right now. Alright, so we already fought Jennifer, and now we're going to go fight this guy. I wonder what Isaac's doing. What? A Pokemon trading card duel? I'll be glad to duel anytime. Would you like to duel Brandon? Yes. Okay, four prizes. Ready? Let's do it. Alright, so this is Brandon. So, he has a bit more variety in the electric types, including a very powerful Zapdos. So, Zapdos is probably one of your biggest concerns in this, uh, in this fight because not only is it very powerful, but it's also resistant to fighting types because it's also part flying. Uh, Electabuzz isn't too harmful, uh, not this version, at least. There are, like, more than one version of the same, of an Electabuzz. There's one version that can do, like, 30 damage. That can be very threatening. Uh, this one, oh yeah, this one can also do about 30 damage. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, it's about half and half, so it's, like, an average at 20. Whereas the other one can always do 30 damage, at the cost of, like, doing 10 to itself. Just so you know. Alright, since I can't really do anything with Ponyta right now, um, I just have to end my turn, you know? And he's getting a lot of tails. Uh, let's see, let's put this Fire Energy on Eevee, because we got a Flareon. Let's evolve that. And we can't really retreat yet, unfortunately. So that happens again. So yeah, all right. Uh, let's see, let's put in a backup. And another quick attack. All right, this is getting a bit risky. But let's see how we pull this off. All right, Flareon, do your thing. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's put in another Eevee. And let's use that bite attack. 30 damage. It'll be done in another turn. Ah, he's using the Defender. All right, so he did 10 damage. All right. Uh, put in that Ponyta again. And bite again for 10 damage. All right, let's see what happens next. And it's heads. This could get a little bit risky. All right, we got a Professor Oak. We can't really use m have much use of that. Let's put that on Ponyta. Use bite again. We took down Electabuzz. And Pikachu. Oh dear. Yeah, this Pikachu can do 30 damage instantly. Got to be very careful. It can do damage to itself. So, at least there's a silver lining in that. Uh, let's put in Diglett. And... Do that for Ponyta. Do 20 damage, alright. And... Come on, let's not get a third... Yeah, alright, he damaged himself, but that didn't really do much. Ooh, Doug Trio. Let's put that on Diglett. And we are going to retreat real quick. Take down this Pikachu with Diglett. And Pikachu's down. All right, another Diglett. Oh dear, it's Zapdos. So he can't really do much right now because he's got his. Zapdos requires a lot of energy cards. Four, in fact for either of his attacks. One of his attacks is Thunderbolt. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, that does 60 damage, and it can do 30 damage to itself. The other attack is Thunder. Thunder is a very devastating attack, but it requires, but at the sacrifice of losing all the energy cards it has. Very scary attack.
It's a good Pokemon card eh? either way. You can last yourself a few battles. Alright. So, I switched to Rapidash because, uh, like I said before, fighting type Pokemon like Diglett cannot really do any damage to it. Uh, he's using a Defender. Alright, so... Can't really do much. Um, let's see... Let's retreat with Diglett. And we'll finish the turn for now. Alright, so... Let's put on that plus power. Mud Slap does 10 damage, and now we've got a resistant Pokemon on our bench. So now we don't have to worry about that Magneton. And alright, so let's put on that Doug Trio first. And use that Professor Oak. Hope for the best. And alright, Fighting Energy. Bit of a risk, but eh, what's he gonna do in return? All right, and that's over. We destroy that Magneton and Fur, and we won the duel with Brandon. All right, that went really well. Shoot, I lost. Well, no sense crying over spilled milk. And we got a computer search. All right, uh, not many good cards in this one. Item finder. I never have a, much of a use for those. I'll duel you anytime. Come see me again. So we're doing another duel with Brandon right here. Uh, you know, just to show off a bit more cards that he has. So let's use that Hitmon Champ. Get in Diglett and put in Sandshrew. All right. Uh. Ooh, this looks like we can end this in one turn. All right, Hitmonchan, do your thing. <laughs> it's a one -hit wonder. And it's over. All right. We won the duel with Brandon yet again. Let's see what cards we get. All right. Magneton! All right! That's a good card. It has a bit of a failsafe with its self-destruct. That's the first time I ever sneezed on Mike. In all these years I've done microphone stuff, that's the first time I legit sneezed. I'm just, and I'm just a really frequent sneezer. I sneeze on an average of around six. I think I sneezed around four times, and I was like, I don't know. So don't ask. I, I'm just, I, it's just really surprising to me. Anyway, so this has been Pokemon TCG Part Seven. Uh oh, let's see. We got some mail right here. Uh, this is talking about Isaac's deck. So, it's telling us to beware of, uh, self-destruct. Ooh, we got an evolution pack. Pokemon Breeder! This is a really awesome card. You can instantly tra evolve your sta your basic Pokemon into a Stage 2 Pokemon. Instead of just Stage 1, then Stage 2. It's a really awesome card if you know what you're using it for. First, learning how to use your deck is very important. Duel against many people to check your deck's performance. The auto deck machines are handy when you want to rebuild your deck. If you have the required cards, it will automatically build a deck for you. Collect new cards to build new decks. So yeah, I was just uh, talking to Ma Dr. Mason real quick. And let's uh, check this auto deck machine, see if we have enough cards. Oh, uh, no we don't. Not even for any of them. Anyway, this has been Father Lego doing Pokemon TCG Part uh, 7. Uh, I'm just going to look at some cards real quick.
All right, anyway, I believe now is the time when I say Fall for the Lego Pokemon TCG Part 6. I will see you guys next time. Uh, never mind. I gotta record in the diary. Okay. Fall for the Lego. Part 7 of Pokemon TCG. Thanks for watching.